Um, and now, so now you're in adaptive cruise control, but with no car ahead of you, it's right. just like cruise control. Um, oh, I see. So yeah, you got you can take your foot off the, the throttle, that, that makes it so it's in control. So now the, the next thing that you can easily do is, uh, let's say you're going, you decide you want to do lane centering, you press the button on the far right at the top, there you go, and when it turns green, the car is now steering. A big part of the system is uh, that we have to work on the human factors issues. These systems will not be perfect. Right. The driver has got to remain alert and attentive to what's going on because sometimes the system will recognize that there's, a mis there's something, situation coming up, the lane markings are ending. Hey, come on, take control. I can't, I can't do it without lane markings. You can. Uh, and sometimes maybe the system will make a mistake and it won't even know that it's making a mistake and the driver has to recognize that it's making a mistake and take control. And so we're really concerned with and, and working on ways to keep the driver engaged in, this, in, in the use of the system while it's controlling both speed and steering. Uh, Matt, why don't you come around now and uh, we'll, we'll show you what it's like when there's a little bit of traffic. And this again, you've been in adaptive cruise control, so this is not really anything that much different, except now instead of just controlling the speed, come down to 50, uh, it's also steering for you. And this is basically the car to go for long until it runs out of gas. Right. As long as there's a, a single lane that it can follow, because it's only following one lane, it's not automatically doing any lane changes. So this might be what it would be like if you were in traffic that was going slower than what you wanted to go. And then maybe traffic clears and it speeds up, and then so speed back up to 60, and. Um, you know, the car would speed back up for you. So that's basically, you know, what it would be like going in across. Now, one of the things I like to ask people to do is to look away and see how comfortable you feel now that you've been doing that. And one of the judges, judgments in my view of whether the system is refined is whether people feel comfortable doing that. Yeah. It doesn't mean we want to encourage it. I want to make sure that right. it's clear. We're going to work at discouraging that, but it's still the, the, the kind of refinement that you have to have is where the basic system has got enough control and, and smooth enough that people are comfortable doing things. Because the, the, then they'll feel relaxed. We don't want them to feel nervous. Right. This but I mean, technically you could just drive like this for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, if we weren't doing things that would prevent that, that's true. And what we have to do is work, work at ways to prevent that.